Oh, look, it's a memory heart holiday. Let's celebrate it. Because why wait around for the next holiday when you could drink every day? You just need a reason. Hi there, I'm Rue, and you're watching Girl Talk Fridays. Welcome to my Christmas special set. This Girl Talk Fridays is a memory heart alcohol day. I myself is drinking a wine concoction with a straw. Because I'm classy. This memory heart holiday is untag yourself from unflattering photos online. <laughs> and in that spirit, I have a really funny story for you. So this happened when I was in high school, very long time ago, years ago, and I went to a birthday party. Now the girl whose birthday party I went to, we were, you know, civil. We ended up hating each other when we graduated, but you know, that happened later on. But you know, we weren't really close. Um, and I think our differences in personality probably dictated why that happened. And, you know, her personality is going to shine through in this story as well. So the days after the birthday party, the birthday party was okay, it was fine, she started posting pictures, right? Because, you know, people take pictures. Not me, because I'm lazy, and I just siphon through other people's Facebook profiles until I find a picture of me and other people having some sort of collective activity because I'm really lazy and I don't take pictures myself but you know she was one of the people who actually take pictures and she posted them uh, one of them I was tagged in you know how some people are like they post photos where they look amazing and then everyone else looks like they're having some sort of seizure it was one of those photos so she was sitting at one end of the sofa and she was looking fabulous and then the next person looked fabulous and then the next person looked fabulous and then there's me <laughs> adjusting my bra she posted a picture where I was adjusting my bra. And I looked slightly horrified. You know the face you get where you're like, oh my god, are you taking a picture? And it was like, also adjusting my bra. So it was kind of like this. Oh. So I go to the chat thing on Facebook and I'm like, hey, so I noticed you posted a picture. <laughs> Please take it down. And she's like, why? Oh, but why? Everyone looked so good in it. You looked amazing. And I'm like, are you kidding me? What? I'm adjusting my bra in it. Yeah, but your face looked so good. Oh, you shouldn't... Like, you looked so great in that picture. And I'm like, repeating, I'm adjusting my bra in it. And she's like, yeah, but it's like one of the only pictures that I looked good in. And it was my birthday. Now, this was back in the days where I had no social media presence. I was barely on Facebook. So every single picture that was on there... I felt like it counted, okay? It felt like if there's going to be pictures of me online that people can Google and shit, it has to look presentable, okay? Just for employment reasons and also because I don't want to be mortified and I I cared more back then. I cared, I cared more about what people thought and shit, don't anymore. If people were to post a picture like that now, I would think it was hilarious. Back then, I didn't. So I'm like, yeah, you're going to have to take it down uh, or, you know, paint photoshop me out of it so yeah and she was giving me some attitude like this was her personality which is probably why we didn't clash so well and she's like yeah but it's gonna look so weird if you're getting this, it's gonna look like i'm hiding something and i'm like yeah you are your friend who's adjusting her bra like what the fuck and she's like yeah but i don't want to why why and this was just like a whole prolonged conversation when really like come on now just take the picture down and she's really upset and I'm like yeah well if you're not going to black me out or photoshop me out of it then you're going to have to take it down she was getting really sulky like she was legit upset with me about this like how could I be so mean as to make her take down the picture when she looked so fabulous in it don't give a fuck what everyone else looks like, but she looked fabulous in it, and I was being a mean asshole who made it take it down. <laughs> that was an interesting conversation. I usually always ask people uh, if I can post things about them. You know, I chat them the picture. I'm like, hey, look at this picture. Doesn't it look rad? Can I post it? And they're like, yes or no. And then I'm like, oh, okay. But usually, as I said, I'm really lazy, so I don't take any pictures. I just go to other people's Facebook profiles and go, oh. I'm in that one. I'm gonna copy you, save it. So that's my fabulous untagging photo story. Do you have any similar stories of how you untagged yourself or made someone take down a horrendous picture? Do comments below. I would love to hear about it <laughs> because it's entertaining. 
I hope you had a fabulous gnaw and that you didn't have too many photos that you had to untag because they were borderline like can't be employed now if this is of me on the internet. But, you know, if you had a good time, that's all that matters. Halloween is the best. If you like that video, then give it a like and share it with your friends and total strangers on the internet. And if you're not a subscriber of mine, click the subscribe button to be notified every time I post something new and sparkly. <laughs> So this is my new story time set, because this Christmas I'm going to have a holiday season Christmas special of 31 days of story times. Every single day this December, story times, which is why it looks so uh, Christmassly fabulously. Yay! Thanks to my friend who gave me this for uh, Christmas one year. See? Shout out! Thank you very much, Stina.